I don't like calling her my uh, fiance. I call her my lady. I think that's nicer. It's more romantic. It's also more accurate because she is my lady. I gave her a ring and now I own her. <laughs> she traded her freedom for a shiny object. That's how we got Manhattan from the Indians. It's an old trick. <laughs> You guys, I don't know if you guys know this, but in, in New York City, you celebrate uh, the joy and the beauty of a marriage by going down to the Diamond District and arguing over prices <laughs> of the sweatiest, hairiest man you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> they, that is, they should not call it the Diamond District. They should call it the Hairy Eyebrow Monster District. <laughs> it's just men from all over the world selling diamonds with different huge eyebrows. Like there was one dude, I'm like, you need to put a pair of panties on that thing. I can't look at it. <laughs> real talk. It's real talk. Talking eyebrow panties. <laughs> Not afraid to talk about it. <laughs> we, I had to, to wait till we moved out of our studio apartment to propose. Because you cannot get married in a studio apartment. Your wedding vows will be do you take this woman to have and hold in sickness and health till death do you part in one room? <laughs> People were like, don't take that deal. That's not the deal. <laughs> it was hard living in that studio. The hardest thing would be getting to each other's nerves. The question used to kill me would be, um, we'd, be we'd be quiet and we'd be just looking at each other and she'd go, who farted? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so angry because I'm like, bitch, there's two people in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Netflix didn't fart. <laughs> uh, I don't like her family. <laughs> I didn't realize that they came with the ring. And uh, they're mostly fine. They're just animals. And uh, it's mostly her brother. He's this drunk uh, contractor from New Jersey, which... You don't need one of those words. And uh, <laughs> the man, I, I, I can't tell, I tell this joke a lot and I just need to get out there so people know. Because I've never met anybody who has this problem. He has gout. He has gout. He has gout and he does not believe in global warming. <laughs> Which makes Joanna furious and I'm always like, baby, be cool. He has gout. <laughs> it's a 17th century pirate disease. <laughs> And in his time, there was no global warming. Your brother is a time traveler. <laughs> this is how conservative he is. He has gout. No health insurance. Still hates Obamacare. <laughs> hates it. And I'm like, oh, I shouldn't ask, but Paul, why do you hate it? He's like, well, I don't want the government telling me what to do and how to live. And I'm like, dude, you have gout. <laughs> Someone needs to tell you what to do and how to live. <laughs> You're lucky you don't have a peg leg. <laughs> We're gonna make it though. <laughs> Speaking of couples that are gonna make it, everybody knows who uh, Ray Rice is, right? <laughs> I, I understand he's bad at riding in elevators, but... <laughs> I don't know if anybody saw this in the case that really caught my attention. Did anybody know his lawyer's name is David Diamondstein? <laughs> That's a fact. His lawyer's name is David Diamondstein. It's like, wow, you know he is taking this seriously. Because it's like, do we get Goldstein? Uh-uh. <laughs> Platinumstein? Mm -mm, keep going. I need the most expensive shoe you can find. 